At the age of 22, Charles Darwin, the naturalist, embarked upon a long voyage of discovery around the world on board the Beagle. For the Darwin year, I uh, initiated a project together with uh, a scientist uh, from the uh, University of Munich uh, to make resources to explain the theory of evolution. And uh, it's conceived in a way that um, it's for the large audience, but uh, it's also um, useful for teachers, biology teachers that want to explain uh, biological concepts, uh, evolution to their pupils. Hello, my name is Piccolina. I'm a water molecule. Now I'm cool, but if you only knew all that's happened to me, I've got to tell you. You see, it all started four billion years ago. The way how it was produced, of course, it's in d several steps. So the first one was to uh, find the budget to be able to produce original resources and then to uh, have the script written, uh, so scripts for uh, documentary movies, uh, animation movies and simulations, and then to um, find and identify all the actors that will uh, participate. So this means uh, musicians, illustrators, uh, developers and then to coordinate all this team uh, to end up with uh, the, the movie or the simulation that we could then uh, distribute via the internet. For the project we had uh, support, the financial support from the foundation, which was uh, 100,000 euros. And uh, we had in parallel another uh, funding from the CNRS, which is a French uh, research uh, uh, institution. Uh, that was about 17,000 uh, euros. Actually, there were quite a lot of people working on the project. So it's about 70 different persons, but of course to different extents of uh, time. Some would not uh, spend more than an hour for the project, and then others, I mean, I'm the other extreme uh, example. Uh, I'm working on it uh, since two and a half a year already. The equipment that we needed were especially um, PC or Macintosh that were um, uh, equipped with uh, software like uh, Final Cut and Adobe Premiere to make the film editing. Uh, then we used also After Effects for some compositing and animation. Uh, a major part is also done with Flash to make uh, animations, simulations, create interactivity, uh, make also the the videos online uh, via the streaming technology. At its core is a single strand of RNA, the building block of life. For the use of the resources that we distribute uh, via the internet, of course we have the statistics so we can see uh, uh, which of the movies or the simulations are uh, well used. The, the internet has also this nature that People, uh, if something is for free and they can download it, uh, they generally don't uh, give a feedback. So uh, the emails that we got, they are very positive. Dr. Elena extracts the remaining virus and uses it to infect another Rabidopsis. Well, the most difficult part in the project is that it's a patchwork uh, project. So there are a lot of different institutions participating, which means that it's more complicated on an administrative uh, level to uh, have all this structure that uh, allows them to work, to make the creative work. And also, since it's an um, international project, Everything has to be done in, in three languages, and uh, this, of course, is time-consuming. Well, the advice that uh, you can give to somebody who would like to enter uh, a project to the Media Awards is, of course, that it has to be a digital media uh, or multimedia. 
but uh, it has to have a real pedagogical content so that it's used for education. So if it's just to have a very nice, attractive, uh, new technological uh, resource website that looks very nice, it's not enough. It has really to have educational content. Billions of years have passed. Yes, I know, I haven't changed. But look around at what came out of my little bubble of hydrophobes. The amazing diversity of life. Isn't that neat? And believe me, evolution will continue.